today I'm out here on my leech field and we're gonna have those two trees removed today. As you can see, they are huge trees and one is completely dead and the other one is mostly dead. And they've gotta go um, because I'm concerned that they're gonna to topple over and crush our leech field. So as you can see, they are really in tough shape. One's completely dead, the other is mostly dead. The tallest one has got a little bit of life to it, but not much. Um, and you can also see they're close to our road out here and to the leech field. And my concern is, particularly if it lands on the leech field, that it's gonna cause a major damage to our leech field and force me to spend maybe tens of thousand dollars to have that repaired. Um, this larger tree that's coming out is almost four feet in diameter. Actually, I'm sure it is four feet in diameter at their base. And the one next to it, it's kind of tied into it, is about two, two and a half feet maybe in diameter. And you can see here, uh, the narrow one, smaller one is completely dead. And the larger one is mostly dead. I always get kind of concerned mowing out here that one of these limbs is going to hit me in the head. Now I'm going to take you out to the front side of the house, so the water side of the house, to see what we had removed yesterday uh, from the property. So here is the remnants of a beech tree, and as you can see, it was rotten to the core. Um, it was rotten all the way up. You could literally see holes in the trunk of the tree, up about 15 feet in, high, in height. And so now we've got this view, unobstructed view, from a waterfront. We also had a couple branches there. You can see the nubs of them um, where they were cut off yesterday because uh, they were hanging way out over the water and really putting a lot of pressure on these trees. So you can see they're already kind of leaning as it is pretty strongly. And our concern was those branches were going to really help to uh, shorten the lifespan of those trees before they actually fell into the water. The other tree we had worked on was a spruce tree. And basically we just had them clean it up, remove a lot of the branches near the top, uh, up the trunk, up to about 30 feet up in height. And so now this will uh, give us a little better visibility as well from our deck, um, but also prevent a bunch of stuff falling and just making a mess of the yard, which has been what's been going on for the past two or three years. Anyways, that's the new view. A lot more unobstructed from the property. Snap a few pictures before we cut it. Yeah. Okay. And that is what's left of the trees. Some beautiful lumber here. It's got to be close to three feet in diameter. And even though the trees were dead, especially toward the top, as you can kind of see in this one, really with some decay, there's some good lumber in those logs. So hopefully when they remove them today, they will uh, go to a lumber yard versus just be thrown away. And here's the stump. Don't know if it was just one tree or two trees just tightly merged together. They're gone.
Well, there goes the logs associated with the trees that were taken down. Some beautiful lumber that can be harvested out of that. Hopefully that is the case, that that will happen and they just won't throw it in a landfill or something. Can't, can't imagine they would because that's some good quality lumber and those, at least those three pieces. The last one that's laying there looks in pretty rough shape. It was a, one of the trees was absolutely dead. The other one was mostly dead. Well, here is the new view of our waterfront, minus the beech tree. Looks a little bit open now, quite a bit more open. We also had trimmed out the oak trees, at least the branches that are hanging down, and also that hemlock over there had that trim. So yeah, it looks a little different, uh, but we'll get used to it. We have a little bit more sun uh, throughout the year, which is kind of nice. And we got a more unobstructed view, which is kind of nice as well. It's just a little different than what we've had for a long time, past decade.